Okay, testing now everything is working fine. Okay, testing now everything is working fine. Now it's going on. Just a moment. Everything working fine. Just checking in my phone. Just give me a moment. Everything working fine. So it's a bit of delay in my phone. Everything working fine. Oh yes. <laughs> Finally. So the topic today is Japanese art and it's going to be very long also, just like the Chinese art that I did the last time. Um, so well, I hope you enjoy. I'm going to start now. My plan is starting with mythology mostly because this introduction is going to be about culture and mythology. Um, and then I'll stay, I'll stay with art until the end. I have my phone close for chat just in case um, okay I start Japanese art is an expression of Japanese culture developed through time and various periods and styles that happened in a chronological form influenced by the historic moments society and culture the main manifestation had their origin in religion and political power being Shintoists and Buddhism the main philosophies just a map of Japan that I think that I could add it again uh, because the dimensions let me see where it is this map I have no idea where it is this map Um, okay, so I just let it like this since I can't find the, the picture. Let's see. Okay, this is like how the original looks like. I just delay it. In fact, I'm going to delay the fluid. Just in case for the format. Mm, Shintoist. It means path of the gods and it says about the existence of spiritual beings that are found in nature. Every element has its own kami associated to the dead. An example of kami is Amaterasu, the goddess of the sun. About the myth of creation, the gods Itanagi and Itanami used the spear god Amano Nuboko to move the ocean and from some drops of salty water that fell from the spear, the fear island was born on Ogoro. Okay, mythology starts already. Uh, and this PowerPoint, I'm not going to expand too much in mythology since it's just an introduction, but I'm going to, to tell about it now. So Shintoist, this is the indigenous religion of Japan. It is the way of the gods. It is based in the veneration of the kami. It doesn't have a unique deity nor rules for praise, but um, it has a mythical uh, tales. Legitimation of the power and superiority of the Japanese people and also their religion of the state. 
So the main um, the main works about the Sintoids and the ancient mythology are the Kohiki and the Nihongi. I'm going to open a word pad. The Kohiki and the Nihongi. Just so you can see how they are written. Kohiki and uh, Nihongi. Both of these tell uh, these stories about uh, Izanagi and Izanami and the other gods like Amaterasu and other gods that we are going to talk now. So the kami are the spirits of the nature. Every element has its own kami, like humans, trees, rivers, mountains, seas, animals, plants, and more. They are associated with the death, and the number of kami is um, indefinite. Okay, so Izanami and Iza uh, Izanagi and Izanami. It is this. I'm going to um, to open up bigger picture so this is a scene where Izanagi that is the man and Izanami that is the woman are in the sky and then they use the celestial spear to move the the salty water and then create the the pit island mm. then when the first island is created they um, go down to the, to the land and they create a um, kind of palace and a um, kind of pillar and they start dancing around the pillar and so they start creating the other islands of Japan. Mm, and after that they gave birth to a series of, uh, of kamis. At the end, uh, Izanami, that is the woman, is giving birth to the god of fire. So Izanami suffered a serious burning and she died. Before uh, her death, she um, gave birth to a series of other deities that would control the, uh, the god of fire, well, whatever. So Izanami was very sad and he went to the land of Yomi, that is the land of the dead, to recover Izanami, but he was rejected. Izanami um, warns Izanagi that he should not see her, but uh, he does anyway. So he sees that Izanami is like a corpse with worms uh, coming from her body. So Izanagi gets scared and he runs away. Izanami um, orders the um, eight female spirits uh, that are the Sikome. Let's see if I can find a picture of that. Uh, I have to it's over here just okay it's working fine I have YouTube over because I have videos I want to to show Shikome let's see some pictures of this well it's like terrible uh, an ugly woman uh, from the underworld to pursue Izanagi until the end of the world uh, Izanagi um, tries to distract them by throwing things. There is one thing that he throws that creates bamboo and at the end uh, the the army of the underworld goes behind, he, behind him but at the end he uh, reaches the end and can escape from Jomi. Uh, the Izanami warns that uh, she's going to kill a lot of people if he doesn't return, but then he says, it's fine, you can kill, but then I will give beer to more people. So Izanagi goes to um, to a lake of, um, of pure water to, to bath, so he can purify because he was like, I was in a place that was dirty and corrupted and such, so I must purify myself. So when he's bathing, he uh, gives beer to a series of new kami. Um, among these kami are the main three kamis that are Amaterasu, Tsukiyomi, and Susanowo. So this story tells that the death of Izanami um, means the introduction of death, and the grief of Izanagi introduces the uh, the grief. 
well, and that's all. <laughs> that is the story of Ikanagi and Ikanami. Uh, so now, important uh, gods or important kami are Amaterasu. Let's see pictures. So this is like the typical um, picture. In fact, it, I have this picture here. So you can see it's kind of a uh, virgin from Christianism, but she has um, black hair instead and obviously Japanese clothes. Then another one is Tsukiyomi. Uh, well, uh, Amaterasu is the goddess of the sun and then Tsukiyomi is the god of the moon. I think this one is nice, the picture. Tsukiyomi from Inuyas. I don't remember this and I watch it Inuyas. I'm curious. What is this? Oh, this is this is very different. Um, God of the Moon. Okay, so it's more like this. <laughs> and then the other one is Susano. Also, I have seen the spell Susano or Susano O. But well, I'm just going to call it Susano words to um to always conclusion. This is not Susano words. Susano, let's see. Well, <laughs> he's the god of storms and, and the rain and such. He's like a kind of evil god. So some stories. Uh, I'm going to Amaterasu and Susano. Not sure if they are going to find something like this, but anyway. <laughs> this picture is very nice. And to see if I can put it a bigger. So you just see here Amaterasu, Tsukiyomi and Susanoo. Amaterasu, Susanoo and the seasons. Susano uh, enjoys destroying the creation of Amaterasu and so her, she was very tired and she hid herself in, a, in inside a cave and blocked the entrance with a great stone. As a result, the entire world um, became dark. This represents the change of seasons, the autumn and winter. So there are other kamis that try to attract her outside the cave so the wall can get illuminated again and so spring and summer can arise. Okay, the audio is working fine. Uh, another story. Let's see for this there are there is a picture of Susanoo and the um, the serpent Yamata no Orochi. Yes, this one has a picture. Very nice. Susanoo was Jodget and he was exa um, exiled to the region of Itumo. In there he met a man whose daughters were murdered by Yamada no Orichi, a terrible serpent with eight heads and eight tails. Only the eighth daughter was uh, alive. At the end, Susanoo uh, defeats the Dragon Serpent and he finds the legendary sword Kusanagi. So you see, um, Susanoo and this is the serpent. I thought it is very confused with the water. Tsukiyomi and Ukemochi. Let's see if there is a picture about that. Probably not, but... Hmm. Well, I just like this picture. Uh, Tsukiyomi and Ukemo Ukemochi and food. There was a feast and Ukemochi, the goddess of food, she created food of a repulsive way, like uh, with parts of her body, spitting and such. Tsukiyomi was terrified and he killed her. And from the her body 
arrive the basic foods like rice um, and others. But Amaterasu was very disgusted about this. She was like very kind of angry and she she said that she will never see again Tsukiyomi and this is the reason why the Sun and the Moon never meet. In other version it is Susanowo who kills Uke Mochi. So at, before I have mentioned the, the legendary sword Kusanagi. So this is uh, related with the uh, Imperial Treasures of Japan. Imperial Treasures of Japan. There are three. Okay, this picture is fine. The three sacred treasures are the sword Kusanagi no Tsurugi, the jewel Yas Yasakani no Magatama, and the mirror Yata no Kagami. They represent the three virtues of Japan that are uh, bravery, benevolence, and wisdom, respectively. So I suppose this is the sword, this is the mirror, and this is the jewel. Presentation of the world Kusanagi no Tsururi and the Yasakani no Magatama. <coughs> so you see this. The treasures. And some words for you to know. Tenno means the Japanese emperor. The, it is the celestial ruler. Shogun is our generals of armies that had power to rule. Now more myths of the god. Okunimoshi. It, it appears Okunim. Okunimoshi. Okay, there are. Uh, let's see if I spelled it wrong. Okunimoshi. Okay, Okunimoshi. Prince Onamuhi, descendant of. Uh, Susanowo, he is the great master of the land, lord of the central land and the middle of Reeds, um, ancient ruler of the province of Izumo, ruler of the invisible world and magic, god of construction of the, of the nation, the land, agriculture, business and medicine. So it, you see it's like very important god. Okunimoshi and the white uh, rabbit of Inaba. Okunimushi and the Okay, I think this picture is fine for for telling this story. Okunimushi and his brothers were going to compete for marrying with princess Yakami of Inaba. In the way they found a um, rabbit that was like horse, like the, the skin was removed, so the rabbit was suffering a lot of pain in the seashore. The, the brothers t told the rabbit to bath in the salty water and then to get dry at the wind. And the rabbit, the rabbit did this and suffered much more pain. Ogurimusi told the rabbit to bath in um, sweet water and cover the cover her um, itself with um, dust of gamma flower. And this, the rabbit did this and got healed. The rabbit uh, pre then predicted that Ogurimusi would marry with a princess. Then, uh, because this uh, Okunimushi in fact marries with the princess and the brothers planned to kill him. They could kill him two times, but he returned to life because the intervention of his mother. Another story is Okunimushi and uh, Tuseri Hime. Tuseri Hime is the doctor. Okay, this, this one is nice. And this also is nice. Tsuserihime is the doctor of Susanowo. 
uh, she lives in the underworld with him. So Gunimoshi falls in love with her, um, and Susaritime also uh, falls in love with him, but Susanowo is like horror side of this, so he wanted to kill Okunimoshi. So he sent Okunimoshi to sleep in a room full of serpents, but Susaritime gave him a protective clothes. Then Susanowo um, sent him to a room with other insects and bugs, but Okunimusi stays protected. Then Susanowo uh, shoots an arrow in an enormous meadow, and he says Okunimusi to go to search for it. So he goes, and uh, Susanowo burns the field. A mouse showed Okunimusi a hole where he could hide and also took him to the arrow. Susanowo was almost going to approve uh, that he marries with his daughter. So he, he saved him to wash his hair. And Okunimusi, um, how do you say this in English? Like, I'm going to search for translation, sorry. It's tied, I, I think it's tied. Yes, tied. Um, Okunimusi tied his hair in the, um, in the other word, I don't know, in the beams of his mansion or his palace and he fled with Susarihime, taking the bow, the arrows and the koto of Susanowo. The koto makes some noises, uh, Susanowo wakes and he pursues them, uh, br uh, destroying the, the palace with his hair. But the lovers can escape from the underworld and Susanowo says Okunimusi that he can fight against his brother with his weapons. So Okunimusi defeats his brothers, he married with Susarihime and he becomes the ruler of Izumo. So the sanctuary of Izumo Taisa is very important um, for this. Let Izumo Taisa. Just an introduction for sanctuary later when talking about our I will mention this again. It's a very ancient place. Okay, the last uh, myths about the region, and then I'm going to talk about weird creatures. Linigi, the ancestor of the emperors. Linigi, uh, let's see if there are some pictures. Better I just like this one. Ninigi is the nephew of Amaterasu, sent to plant rice and pacify Japan, and he carries the three celestial gifts that are the sword, the jewel, and the mirror that I mentioned before. He is the grandfather of Emperor Jimu, uh, so he is the uh, ancestor of the imperial family and the nation of Yamato. Ninigi meets Princess Sakuya and he asks his father Yamatu Yamatumi to marry with her. The father says that he should marry with his two daughters, that are Sakuya and Iwanaga. But Ninigi only marries with Sakuya and he doesn't want to marry with Iwanaga because she was kind of ugly and such. Iwanaga is blessed with eternity and Sakuya is blessed with prosperity. So because he didn't want to marry with Iwanaga, the descendants are mortals. The children of Ninigi and Sakuya are Oderi, Osuseri and Owori. So now, the story of the children of Ninigi and Sakuya, mostly talking about Oderi and Owori. Oderi lived um, fishing and Owori live uh, hunting in the mountains. Owori say to change for a day, but Owori didn't know how to fish and he lost the the, the thing that you use to fish. Um, it is the, the fish hook. And Oderi gets angry. Owori goes um, in a ship and like far away and meets Toyotama who is the daughter of Watatsumi. Watatsumi is uh, the same as Ryujin, the dragon god of the sea, later I will talk more about him. 
So Toyotama marries with her and I mean, well, yes, Owori marries with Toyotama and then Owori talks to Watatsumi about the fish hook that was lost. Uh, Watatsumi finds it and gives it to Owori and also he also finds the two magical balls that are Shiho Mitutama and Shiho Hirutama that they can create um, plots um, it's like they can control the the waves. Toyotama is going oh well um, Owori returns the fish hood to his brother and then it's like they stop being angry but it's not that relevant. Uh, Toyotama is going to give birth and she says to Owori that he shouldn't see but obviously he sees and then she becomes a shark and she goes to the to the sea. The, um, the son is called Ugaya. He married with his aunt Tama Tamayori and they had five kids. One of them became the Emperor Jimu that conquered the land of Yamato and this uh, is the origin of the imperial family. So Emperor Jimu, let's see if I can find a picture. Emperor uh, Jimu. It's like the one of the important mythical emperors and so on. You see Jinmu Tenno. Do you see? It is Jinmu, but I also have seen as Jinmu. Tenno Jinmu. Uh, Tenno means emperor or celestial ruler, as I have seen before. And then to finish with emperor story, this Yamato Takeru. I just know it mostly because of this sculpture. The Prince Osu, legendary Japanese prince of the Yamato clan, the son of the Emperor Keiko. Just mentioning it. Okay, now talking about the interesting part of this mythology. The interesting creatures. There are a lot. Um, I'm going to see if I have to to continue with the introduction before. Uh, Sintoins, this is creatures. Well, among the creatures, I must name the kind of yokai, spirits that are born with from tormented soul that are still existing in the regular world. I'm going to continue with the introduction a little bit and then I will talk one by one with pictures and such. Inari, it is the kami of foxes, fertility, rice, tea, and agriculture. Kitsune is the ninth tailed fox, a protector of forests and towns. Tanuki, a safe shifting raccoon, especially into teacups. Teacups. sites. Uh, Yukiona, a yokai of winter. Komainu, animals that protect the temples, usually lions or dogs. Jizo, oh my, I'm going to wash my face. Sorry, I was all the time it, um, with my nose itchy, but uh, continuing. Jizo are the status representing Jizo Bosatsu, the guardian of travelers and children, especially children who died before being born or soon after that. The Jizo are very beautiful, you will see later. Noperabo, a face of spirits that enjoys scaring people. Kyokotsu, a skeleton that lives in wells formed by bones that fell in those wells. Gasadokuro, a giant skeleton formed by bones of various horses. And this is about culture. And that's the last thing. Okay, I'm going to see first what pictures I put here. Um... Delete 
um, I'm going to put the Izanami and Izanagi, Amaterasu. Um, Isanagi, Isanami, <clears throat> With, uh, important kami are Amaterasu, Sukiyomi, and Susano. Just to mention. Um, then all the creatures. I just put a few pictures. This is the Inari, the spirit of the foxes, the Kitsune, it's this one. Uh, Tanuki, Yukiona, Komainu, the Jizu are these ones. Just passing very quickly now. No Perabo, the, the spirit with a face. The Gashadukuru. Uh, let's see the Kitsune. Just adding a few Tanuki. And Yukiona. And then second one. Uh, Komainu Jizo or Jizo and Gasadur Puro. The giant skeleton, I want to put it also. Um, Tanuki Um, 
जो कि ओना This is the Komainu. I wrote it fine. Komainu, yes. Bellizo. And the Gasado Pure. Gasado Pure. Gasa do kuro, yes. And now some things about the culture. Hanami, the tradition of observing the beauty of blossom flowers, the sakura. Samurai, warriors of ancient Japan, the owners of the katanas. Ninja, a mercenary, they use various weapons as chains or shurikens. This ceremony it represents the adoration of beauty, but it's a mental beauty relating with the small things with the cosmic order, the temporal things with the spiritual things. Geisa, traditional artist that learns about this since childhood and whose task is to entertain in parties, meetings or feasts. Shodo, the Japanese calligraphy and origami, the art of creating perverse cultures. And that is the end of the introduction. So the, this is the Anami, Samurai, Ninja, uh, Tea Ceremony, Geisa, Sodo, and the Origami. For this, I think I'm just going to add this, the Tea Ceremony, and that's all. Okay, before starting with art, I'm going to continue talking about mythology. So an, an important character is Ryujin. Oh, not this Ryujin, the god of the sea. Okay, this picture is fine. Or this also, it's fine. Ryojin, the dragon god of the sea, uh, master of the seas and the waves. It's also called Wadatsumi, remember from previous story. Uh, he symbolizes the power of the ocean. He lives in the Ryugujo, a um, underwater palace built with um, underwater stuff, where he controls the, wa the waves of the sea with uh, magical gems. The marine creatures are his servants so as i say is the dragon god of the sea important kind of important deity amanouzumi is one of the kamis of happiness fertility and dance one that tried to attract amaterasu outside the cave in this conflict with susano well, let's see if there is a, a picture amanouzumi This one is a nice example. So before I have talked about the Inari, the deity of uh, related with the Kitsune. This picture is actually very nice. You see Inari and the Kitsune are the, the white foxes related with protection and such. In Ugami, a way to use uh, animal spirit, generally a dog with 
vengeful or protective uh, reasons. Let's see if there's a picture in one. See, yes, something like this. This is very weird. It's mostly like this. Also, this picture is also weird because it looks like dressed like emperor, but it is a dog. Raijin and Pujin. This is also very important because our Raijin and Pujin. In art, I will mention specifically this painting. So the, it's this uh, couple of cuts. See if I can show this picture bigger. Raijin and Pujin, the god of the storms and lightnings and the gods and, and the god of the wind they are usually represented together um so next is the tanuki that i have talked before tanuki is the raccoon that can transform into into things there is a story about him transforming into a teacup and a monk, like the monk, buys uh, or finds the teacup and then discovers that it's a tanuki and then they become friends and such. Uh, so it's something like this. Um, Nekomata, special cat. Nekomata. Special cat that can do this with the tail, like the tail can become two tails. Don't confuse with the maneki neko, that is the the lucky cat. And then the seven gods of fortune, the Sichi Fukujin. Sichi Fukujin. This is the picture I wanted to find. This is very similar to the eight immortals from Japan. Well, here there are uh, seven, and they are in a ship. Um, the ship is called Takarabune, the ship that carries treasures to the humans. The seven gods are Daikoku, the god of uh, riches and agriculture, hunter of demons from Sintonist tradition, Ebisu, e e Ebisu, the god of work and prosperity, represented uh, with clothes of Fisher from Sintonist tradition, Fukurokuhu, the god of the long life, wisdom and fame, he can uh, revive the dead, uh, he has a big head and Chinese clothes, it is from Chinese origin. Then Hotei, the god of, na of the friendly nature, guardian of the kids, represented as a, a happy man. He is bold and fat. He is uh, Buddha, the, the smiling Buddha uh, from Chinese origin. And this one, you have seen it pretty much. Hotei is this, this Buddha. Um, Kuro Jin, the god of longevity and the happy um, elder life uh, with a white beard from Chinese origin. Uh, another one is Ben Saiden, the goddess of love, an intelligent and beautiful woman from Hindu origin. And the last one is Bisamonte, the god of fortune and war in, and bat fortune in war and battles um dress with armor and it is from hindu origin so as you see these seven gods have a uh, sintoist chinese and hindu origin it's like a mix of all these cultures okay now the the weird creatures yokai is the general word for spirits that are born from the tormented souls that still exist in the world of the living. It's like generic word for all these kind of monsters. 
they are made with human or animal parts they are like them demons they are if they relate with mortals there can happen stories of love that end in tragedy so as i said it's a generic term for monster and supernatural creatures of japanese folklore so here you see the gasaukuru this um, kind of light the cat with the two tails and this one i will also mention later this is the kappa i suppose the uh the kitsune with the nine tails some ghost uh this i will also mention later i think this is the oni <laughs> this woman i will also say that they're very nice to be able to um identify them so yurei are the japanese Ghost. I'm going to open a, another one. Yurei, Japanese ghost. They scare, but they don't uh, cause physical harm. Hanjo are the hybrid creatures, like they have human and yokai uh, mixture. Um, it, I think what is going to appear Inuyasa because Inuyasa is like clear example of what is a Hanjo. Uh, Inuyasa. So this is Inuyasa, and I want a better picture of him to show why this Hanjo. It's like he has the he's like half dog, half human. So it's like you can see in the teeth when like he gets angry, the eyes and also the the ears. And I want to see also the hands because in the hands he has the very long nails. So you see like the teeth. Mm. No, just a hands. Okay. Let's see if I here you see. Um, the kappa I, I have seen it before, it's this one. Kappa. Japanese. Like this. Like a kind of weird green creature, like mix of a frog or turtle or unhuman, like. And it's like an annoying creature. Yukiona, um, spirit of winter. Uh, Yukiona. It has appeared before. So Yukiona is like a woman spirit that appears in winter in snowy places. And the story is like... Um, there are two people in the snow and she appears and kills one of them but the other is like very beautiful man so she's like i'm not going to kill him so but it's like i'm not going to kill you but you should never mention that you met me uh so life continues this man marries with a, with a woman they have kids and then for some reason he's like seeing uh, his wife and remember Yukiona and he's like uh, I'm remembering about a snowy woman that I met many uh, years ago and then res uh, the results that the woman with who he married is Yukiona so then she's like I'm not going to kill you because we have kids but you mentioned me so I'm going to leave and then she leaves uh, okay the Komainu Komainu the equivalence of the lion of Wu from China is these protective lions that are in temples and such. The Jizo are these baby statues. No uh, Perabo. This is very funny. Spirit is. Later, when I put videos, I will show I will show this in animation. So it's very funny. This spirit. 
um, another one is the Kyokotsu. I in the past I didn't find a picture of this Kyokotsu. Not sure if I'm going to find. It's like spirit that um, comes out of wells, so he scares people. Then the Gasado Kuro. Gasado Kuro is this giant skeleton. Very funny. Um, Hidotsume, Hidotsume Kozo is uh, this, this one with only one eye. Hitotsume Kozo is this one. Kind of funny also. Rokuro Kubi is the woman with the long neck. That's this one. Uh, Rokuro Kubi. This one. It's a woman with the long neck. She does this in the night. Uh, they are like jokers, tricksters. They can even marry with mortals because during the day they are normal. Um, like normal humans, but they can eat people. Very interesting real representation. Casa Obake is the this one, the umbrella. Casa Obake. This belongs to a category of yokai that is like objects. Uh, when they are 100 years old, then they can become like mm, like this. They can become yokai, and then it's like they are alive and such. So it's like umbrella with one leg and the mouth and the tongue. Then Putakuchi Ona is the woman of two mouths. Putakuchi Ona. Uh, it's like she has a normal mouth and then she has a mouth in the like in the neck here behind and she has to feed this mouth with food with the hair like this. Another one is uh, Kuchisake Ona, it's the woman of the like the, with the good um, mouth. So it is like this. It is nice representation, I think. Like this one also is very nice. It's like similar to the Joker. This. Okay, I put this. So in the past, it is. Um, by the way, I think maybe I'm showing pictures on my. Okay, it's fine. I thought maybe I'm uh, just like my video is covering the picture anyway. In the past, uh, this legend was like he ha she hides the mouth like with the kimono like this, so it's like she has the dress and is hiding. And the modern version is more like this, like she use a mask to cover. So it's it is based in a story that there was a woman. Uh, that was married with someone in some version is like a samurai in others it's just a, a, another powerful man or something um she was like um cheating the husband so the because she was very beautiful and such and then when the husband knows about this he cuts the mouth and then she's like are you beautiful now so what happens is that the woman dies and um, then she's in the world asking people if she's beautiful. Like she has, she covers them out and asks people, I, am I beautiful? And then the, if the people answer yes, then she removes the mask or discovers the mouth and the mouth is like this. And then she asks, uh, am I beautiful now? And then depending the answer of the people, uh, she will cut the mouth like the, the same to the victims or kill. Uh, most of the options are like this, but there are ways that you can evade evade uh, being killed. But anyway, this is the kind of story. 
Um, later I will put some videos. I want to continue with this. So this is very interesting story. Uh, another one is Tabaco. Uh, well, this is not really mythological creature, I suppose. It's from the film Ringu. I just think it's interesting enough to mention it. You might know this one is the, the ghost of Ringu, a monster whose face is covered and um, behind the, the hair that comes from the cursed um, videotape. Another creature is um, on Onna. This is like a geisha spirit woman. So you see, it's like skeleton geisha or something like this. Very similar story to other of the woman. I just know this thing. Okay, I'm going to put my video on the other side. Um, so Ogeona, Oneona is an aunt, uh, old Geisa that when she was alive she was very beautiful but she was sold by his by her partner to a um, prostitute place like for paying his uh, debts she tried to escape but the lover uh, treason her and kills her um, throwing her corpse to a river and so she becomes a yokai. It's a skeleton woman and she feeds with the souls of the men. So it's like this. I think the best one is like this because it's like she's very beautiful but in reality she's a skeleton woman. This one is also very nice. Another one is Tengu, the celestial dog. In the uh, in the old times, it is represented more like a kind of bird. They are um, for protection in war and such. Yamauba, the grandmother of the mountains. Yamauba. I think this one is better. Uh, she arrives because the Japanese abandoned the old people in the forest. This is a practice called Uwasute to let them die because it's like they are old and they don't want to feed them or they are sick or something. So they abandoned in the, in the forest to let them die. So it's an old woman with the with dirty hair, a big mouth and Sometimes she also hides a mouth like behind the behind the neck and she eats the victims and such. I think this one is also nice. So it's this kind of monster. The Sikome I mentioned before is the terrible wo terrible and ugly woman of the underworld, the woman that uh, pursues an ugly by the orders of Izanami. Then other kind of beast, the Kaifu, the giant beast like Godzilla. And then there are a series of different gods. One of the most interesting is the giant beast Namathu. That is a fish that lives in the under in the underground. And when the, this fish moves, uh, it creates the, the earthquake. Oh, and also another, just mentioning, this is not really a myth, but it's just a few story. Story of Hachigo is like this faithful and loyal dog that waited for like almost uh, almost 10 years for his human friend. And then I said before the Oni, that are these demons, so you see. Like uh, they are red and they have this maze that is called, it has a name that is called Kanabo. They are cruel and brutal. About the underworld, it is called 
Yomi, a said in the story of Izanami and Izanagi. Um, but I also found the name Shigoku in a book. It is divided in different regions, and Ema O is the ruler, the judge of the dead. He is surrounded by many generals and sol generals, soldiers, and demons. Okay. I'm just checking in case. Because I want to say all the mythical stories before putting some um, videos. Okay, more, more things, more features and folk tales and such. There are a few related with um people who are born from nature or fruits or something uh, like being they are born from something special the one is momotaro that is born from a giant peach this picture is also very nice um a kid born from a giant peach he um he gets Friendship with a monkey, a dog, and a um, peacock, and he defeats uh, some demons that are threatening his town. Then there is Kintaro, that is a bit similar. Kintaro is a very strong kid. It's also called the Golden Kid. Uh, he's very strong, he gets friendship with a bear and other animals, he can even cut trees. He's going to become a warrior and his mother told, uh, told him that his father was defeated by demons. So Gintaro goes to defeat the demons and he received a golden sword. Another story is Urasima Taro, uh, the, the young fisherman. I think this these pictures are totally very nice. Want to see if I can open it bigger. Okay. Urasima Taro. Urasima um, saves a small turtle that was being mistreated by by some kids. Years pass and the turtle is adult, so the turtle um presents to Urasima and says him that the turtle wants to take him to some place underwater so Urasima goes with the turtle like this underwater and they arrive to um underwater palace and in there uh, a princess is living Urasima stays in this palace for some time but at the end he wants to return back to his town the princess is like very sad uh, she doesn't want him to return but he wants to return, so this is what happens. But before, she gives a box to Urasima and she says to not open it. We all know what happens when this kind of meat uh, appear. So he arrives to the town and he realizes that a century has passed. Like even if he was for not a long time underwater, in the surface it has mm, passed like a century, so nobody remind nobody remembers him and it results that his mom is dead so he are, goes to the tomb of his mom and he also finds his tomb so he's very sad and he has the box so obviously what he does is open the box and then he becomes old like very quick and dies another story is Okiku and the dishes it's like this one it's a story of the Bancho Sarayasiki so it is a beautiful young woman called Okiku that third in the Imeji Jo or the house of a samurai so her lord wanted and uh, was always trying to flirt with her because he wanted to marry with her but she always rejected him so she was um taking care of some dishes um, because it was her task in one of her tasks in in the palace or the castle or whatever 
and the Lord had an idea. So he went, uh, when she uh, saved the dishes, the Lord goes to where the dishes are and he breaks one of the dishes on purpose. So when everyone noticed of this, she's like very nervous counting the dishes and she noticed that there are nine when there should be 10. So uh, the punishment for breaking the dishes or losing the dishes as she was the last one um supposedly she was the last one taking care of the dishes so it's like she's guilty and the the punishment was dead so the lord said to her don't worry it's fine uh, i forgive you but only if you become my lover so it's you see that it was a plan from the lord but she rejects him again and then he kills her and throws the body and the sword in a well. So when the body is like falling in the in the well and such, there is a voice um, that is counting to nine, like one, two, three, until nine. That it is the number of the dishes. So one is missing and it, it's like she is becoming a vengeful spirit. And then she arises from the well and she abends and kills the the lord so i have also read that this is like the inspiration of the the diabolic doll something like this anyway next one is the matsuyama mirror let's see if there are some pictures of this okay this is nice it's a cute story so there is a man a woman and a doctor the mother gives a mirror to the doctor before dying and she said her that she could see, him, see her in the mirror. The father marries with another woman and this stepmother is like very cruel with the kid, with the, yes, with the, kid, with the doctor. She uh, always see the doctor like in a corner or near the wall hiding something. In reality it's like she's seeing her mom in the mirror but the stepmother thinks that she's doing some kind of witchcraft against her. So the father is like angry and he goes to the doctor and says, what are you doing? Uh, and then the doctor tells him that she's seeing this mirror because in the mirror she can see the her mother. And after this episode, then they are like more united and they love and they have more love and such. It's a cute story. Something like this. Another fun, funny story. <laughs> Netaru, the boy who slept for three years. I'm not sure if I'm going to find a picture of this. Netaru sleeping. The young man who slept for three years. Okay, I just let this picture. So it is a very lazy boy that was always sleeping and he didn't want to work. He didn't want to do anything. And the parents are like, you should awake and do something because if not, you are not, you are never going to marry. Uh, so he, um, mm, not sure how to say this. It's like he. Uh, get some clothes and objects to disguise into a demon and he mm, he's like he's mm, tricking his neighbor to think that he's a demon and he says um, you should take your daughter to marry with Netaro if you don't do this then uh, in the next year you will lose your rich your riches and so so the, the rich neighbor is very scared about that and uh, he does what the disguised Netaro does and this is how he becomes, <laughs> this is how he marries and then he becomes rich. But well, after this he stops being so lazy and work so it's like not, uh, it will be worse if after marrying he's still lazy. Another story is Urihime, the melon princess. Urihime, melon princess. 
So it's something like this, another uh, human that is born from a fruit. So a um, couple of old humans or old people um, find a, me a melon and from there a princess is born and they call her Melon. She was going to marry with a lord, but then there was a demon that tried to substitute Melon, disguising as her, and the demon puts uh, tied her to a um, to a sakura in a mountain. But this plot was discovered. Melon was sa was saved, and the demon was killed. Um. Okay, now the last part. Yes, I'm going to talk first about the legend of the well, of the 47 Ronin. Let's see if I can find a picture of this. Well, this is supposed a true story. Not much like a myth, but it's interesting to know. So this is a uh, Ronin is a samurai with a lord. So this is a group of samurais that were obligated to become Ronin, samurais without lord, after his after their lord Asano Naganori was forced to do the seppuku, the ritual suicide, for um for hitting or trying to hit um an officer from the government called Kira Yoshihitsa. And this officer was at the time uh, mocking uh, Asano and then it's like Asano cannot understand the mockery anymore and he tries to to hit him but he fails and so on. Uh, the leader of the samurai is called Oishi Kuranosuke and they plan to kill Kira, uh, a plan that uh, took like more than a year to happen. So it's like they plan it, they infiltrated into the into the castle and and they kill Kira. They do it, and when they are judged, it's like the the people supported the samurai because uh, they thought that it is um, it is a good act because they have revenge their lord. It's like they showed a great loyalty to their lord. But and so the judges um, asked the wise the sage to for advice and such, and the conclusion was that they killed. Um, an officer from the government, and this is very bad. This is punished with death, and they should be uh, killed like normal criminals. But because the loyalty that they had for their lord, they were instead um, judged to like the conclusion of the judgment was that they should do seppuku. It's like an honorable death, and so it's what they do, and it's like they are all. Um, like you can find this in Japan that is like the the place where all the tombstones are like this one all the tombstones another story Princess Kaguya This is a very beautiful movie. Later, I will show the trailer. Princess Kaguya. This is from the Taketori Monogatari, the tale of the bamboo cutter. So it is a bamboo cutter is good in bamboo and he finds a very small kid, a very small baby. Um, he, takes, he takes her to his home and then they adopt her like the man and the woman they are all an old couple and they adopt her uh, they they put her the name Kaguya and she's like a princess they became rich because good in bamboo they find gold Kaguya is very beautiful and then there are many men who want to marry with her but she always reject everyone there are five of them that are sent for impossible tasks and they fail then the emperor wants to take her to a palace, but she also rejects him. Time passes and then she's like observing the moon all the time. So here you see, for example, when the bamboo cutter finds her. So then she's like observing the moon, like very sad. And it's because she's from the moon. She's a person from the moon. 
and then the people of the moon is going to to bring her back to the moon and the old the old couple try to protect her like they contact with the emperor to ask for an army so they can protect her but then the people of the moon arrive and they can't do anything against that and then the people of the moon takes her to the moon and they also put like a cloak or some clothes that makes her to forget all the mem memories from when she is in earth and this is how the story ends it is related also with the fuji mountain because it's like the the smoke is like the emperor trying to communicate with her or something like that so well also mentioning the the fuji mountain it's also venerated as akami itself it's like the god of the mountain or some or goddess of the mountain because it's more like goddess okay and then to finish with the myths just some important literary words from japan one is the genji monogatari or genji monogatari how long i'm talking about my thought already yes one hour and i knew i i was going to take like one hour and a half with my thought so genji monogatari it's like uh this is a nice anime it's like very mm, well later i will put a trailer I, I recommend it as a, just to have some visual references uh, for this. It's more like a courtesan and emperor stuff. Like you see how they they live. And Genji is like a prince, uh, son of emperor. And he and over all the story is like love plots, love uh, stories. Like um, his mother dies when she and when he is three years old. And then he's like wanting to remember uh, his mother all the time. So the emperor uh, marries with a woman that is very similar to the mother. Um, that is named Fujitsubo. And then the new... Uh, the, let me search for this word. The, the niece of Fujitsubo is called Murasaki. And... Fujitsu is married with the Emperor, but um, Genji has a romance adventure with her. But the um, well, Genji has a romance with many women. But then it's like the main uh, woman of his life is Murasaki. Um, at some point, Genji is exiled, and when he returns, he he becomes an emperor. Mm, he marries with other women and Murasaki gets very sad and at the end Murasaki dies and Genji is like very sad because Murasaki is dead and he retires from the from life and at the end he dies and then the last part of the book is about the what happens with the the sons of Genji that he had the sons with different women um, and such it's Mm, mostly a love story. Then another one is the Heike Monogatari. This is mostly a uh, emperor stuff, as I always say. Emperor stuff, war stuff, and this. Oh, and interesting. I mean, I checked this. Uh, I mean, I found this anime and I was curious about it, but I didn't watch it. Interesting. I will. I might check it in another moment. So this is uh, the fight for power between two military clans, the Genji or Minamoto and the Heike or Taira. It's like based supposedly in real history things. So it is emperor stuff and wars mostly. Um, and then I want talking a bit about poetry. I skipped it before. Um, there are two books about poetry that I read that are uh, very nice. I actually enjoy Japanese poetry a lot. One is the Manjoshu. I don't think I'm going to, fin to find pictures of this, but anyway. Manjoshu is a collection of poems. They are mostly very sad poems, like 
from love but it's like the partner dies and then they have to separate because emperor stop like the man has to go to protect or something or to war and such and then it like points out missing the partner and such very sad points but very beautiful and then there is another that is the Ise Monogatari I'm finding a specific story the Ise Monogatari is um poems about uh poems related to Ariwara no Narihira there are a lot of points related with love, but th these are more uh, about love, like making the other person to fall in love, like uh, flirting or uh, rejection and these kind of points. And a story that I found in the Manjosu that was very interesting for me is the Sakura uh, Ko. Not sure if I'm going to find the picture of this. No idea, but. Uh, this is the cherry flower maid. It is a woman that is uh, that two men were trying to flirt with her, and they were rivals. They they are, they were fighting for her, and so the woman w felt very sad because she didn't want these two men to be enemies and see them that they are angry. So what she did was to hang herself and die. Then the boys uh, cry blood tears and they write poems. So as this, as you see, this is the kind of stories that you find in the Manjosu. They are very sad stories. Um, and the last one is the Ukiyo Monogatari. This is the story of a man called Ukiyobo. This book is very funny. Ukiyobo. Let's see if I find something like this. Well. This is the Okiyo it's the uh, this engravings or xylography printings that in art I will talk more about that. But this Okiyo Monogatari is the story of Okiyobo. At the beginning, he was a man who was like, uh, let's see how to translate this word. Libertino, it's like libertine, it's like from promiscuous like i think it's like the word like he was at the time gambling and meeting courtesans and prostitutes and this kind of life but then uh for some reasons he became a buddhist monk and it's like uh, very ridiculous because at some times he's like trying to give advice but it's always like just imagine a stupid man or uh, trying to give advice and be like a monk so it's it's very funny. I recommend this book if you want to have some doubts. Uh, Ukiyo represents the idea that life is transitory and nothing remains forever. You have to enjoy the pleasures of life as if every day was the last. This is the story of the floating world, the world of dreams and illusions, the transitory world, and also the world of sadness of melan or melan melancholy. This is with Buddhist um, ideas. So, summarizing a very funny, and I really, really recommend it. So, I finished it now with mythology. There is only something more that remains, and it's talking about Buddhists. Because in Japan, the Zen Buddhist is the mm, most uh, spread um, philosophy or religion. Um, there are some some books that are very famous about it are very important and uh, so the japanese buddhism is the integration of buddhism and the kami it's like a mix this is why the zen buddhism is very successful in japan because they mix the buddhist tradition from india and china especially more from china uh, because the zen buddhism arise in china it's the chan buddhism so it's the it arrives Japan and they mix it with the same toys and the kami and such. Um, an important book is the Lotus Sutra, story of the miracles of Buddha revealed by the Buddha Sakyamuni before reaching Nirvana. Uh, an important Buddha that we will see sculptures later, the Buddha Amida. 
or also Amitabha, this Buddha, from the school of the pure land. He has in many merits by, uh, for his good actions in all his past lives as the Bodhisattva, Dharmakara, and then some deities that we will see when talking earth is the canon. That is the, Bodhis the Japanese version of the Bodhisattva Avalokitesvara that in Chinese is, as, is the Wanji. Then another is the Gongorikishi. Gongorikishi. These are the bodyguards of Buddha. They are like angry and muscle kind of demons, something like this. Just remember it's like angry and powerful bodyguards of Buddha. They are fine represented in Buddhist temples in Japan and Korea. Manifestation of the protective deity Bodhisattva Vajrapani from the Mahayana Pantheon. They travel with Buddha to protect him. So what is exactly the Zen Buddhist? Originated in China as the Chan Buddhist and it is very popular in Japan. It is related with the Zen meditation with Bodhidharma, Bodhidharma, I'm going to find a picture, Bodhidharma is this from, uh, it's a monk of Persian origin established in China, founder of the Zen Buddhists, and he, so this is how it spread. Um, another important book that I really recommend because I really enjoyed the lecture of this book, uh, it's the Sobogento. I'm going to so Sobogento. Uh, this book I really recommend it if you are interested in Zen Buddhism. But but even if you are all if you are interested in philosophy and uh, way to live life and such, I really recommend this book. It's very very nice. It's about it's written by this monk called Dogen. And it's to understand nature and breaking the ego and I, I really, really recommend it. Very, very nice. And then some more stories related with Buddhists, like just saying very quickly, story of Huineng. It is a, a monk that writes some poems in the wall. Uh, another is Toyo, the monk kid. It's a story like the master proposed some question and then he has to re to reply a question with a nice answer and such and then there is just to finish the last one is called Nan Nanchuan and the cat uh, there were some monks in a monastery arguing about a cat and then Nanchuan uh, takes the cat and says any reason for me to not kill this cat then the monks get silence and the and Nanchuan kills the cat and it's like what is the moral of this story? Uh, he didn't, he, did he really kill the cat? Or this is a lesson, you should not argue. Or this is related with monks um, hitting the other monks when they are meditating. Just think of it. Like, it's like an open end. Okay, so I just finished with my mythology, but I want now to put some videos related with it. See how long. One around half, probably half an hour more for showing some videos about mythology. And the first video I want to put is um pom pom this pom 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 this is from a field called Pom Poco. I'm going to Pom Poco. So you can see why this is a film related with the Tanuki. So these are like the raccoons. If you remember, this is the raccoons that can transform into things like teapot and such. In the movie, they are like fighting against humans for um because the humans are destroying their home but this is this is scene that is wonderful because you will see a lot of uh different creatures like all the creatures i have been talking if i'm on i go to toilet a moment
Okay, I'm back. So I'm just going to put some fragments of this. I'm not going to put the whole video. Um, and let's see what creatures appear. Moment, let's see again that is working fine. Okay. So let's see. In a, in a dog, just starting man with mounted in a white dog. Kitsunes, the foxes. So wonderful. This is the uh, Raijin and Fujin. I hope I have said it fine. Yes, the Raijin and Fujin you will see now. The God of uh, Rain and the God of the Wind. See here the this woman with the long neck. Very nice scene. I really recommend this movie. A lot of creatures from the. Uh, let's see. Just. Boom. I just want to show also the Tanuki, obviously. See. Another one is the Kaguya. This one. This is the story of the princess of the moon. Really beautiful movie. I really, really recommend it. And the art of the drawing is very beautiful. It is the bamboo cutter. Then he finds Kabuya. Anatani 
my life he grows very quickly. Very beautiful movie, I really recommend it. Um, so more about this. What more I can? Uh, oh, yes, the Kenski. Uh, oh no, Atari. It's this one. Just showing like a kind of trailer or something so you can see how this. I recommend watching if you want to know more about Kenji. Also, as I say, it's like very summarized, and if you don't know the story, uh, you won't understand much. And it's also a very slow film, but it's interesting to see. I'm not very sure what more to say because the that parade from Pom Pogo was just fantastic for showing different features. So I think I'm going to finish with the microbiology now. I think the uh, last thing, and now just relating it with culture, memories of a geisha. Uh, when to see if there is a trailer or something. Or. Just to relate it with story and then um, start talking about art. So it, I just want to show, like with the costume of the sorts. You will be the most famous geisha. Like if you want just to get some visual references of of Japan, I think this is okay. To life that is mine. I'm going to search for pictures. It's like this kind of woman. I think about my story it's enough. Oh, the, uh, and if you want something related with the Zen, uh, with the Zen Buddhists, then there is this Zen movie. That is about the life of Dogen. It's also a nice movie. You Shinobu 
一つ超欲二つ地足三つ行者苦渋四つ権障子五つ不毛念六つ修善女七つ主治へ八つ不けろこれを修学せざるは仏弟子とは言わない覚悟の剣であろうなもとより私の中に何人がいるわけだまんぼうに称せらるるなりまんぼうに称せらるるというのは自己の信じおよび他己の信じをして脱落せしむるなり。It's very nice movie. I also recommend it. And I was just thinking, I put pictures of money creatures, but I didn't put of the Sinigami. Sinigami. It's this monster from Death Note that is related with the uh, with death and so it's just saying. And then I finish with my solo already. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, uh, I'm going to start with art now. I know how was my story, and almost two hours, I think it's good enough. Uh, Geomon. Uh, this is Neolithic period. The ancestor of the Japanese are the Ainu established in the island of Hokkaido. They were semi, semi sedentary societies that lived in little towns. Among the things found from these people, there are bone instruments, stones, ceramics, and figures. These last ones are called dogu, associated to spiritual beings. So let's see. So it, this kind of ceramics, and these are the figures. Just going to put some. Uh, like this. And the figure like this. I think I have space for another one. Or maybe not. I just put this. This is uh, Homo Dogu. Yayoi. This culture appears in the island of Kyushu, going later to Honsu, where absorbed the Jomon culture. Society based in agriculture, it is the reign of Emperor Yamato. It begins the cultivation of rice, and among their manifestations, there are decorated ceramic and otaku bells. This goes very fast, but later periods are much longer. <laughs> Uh, this is like the oldest period so this is the ceramic and the dotaku bell and it is this one i'm going to add only those two pictures
stack with call, right? Yes. Cofun. This error meant the consolidation of the imperial power. Uh, in architecture, there are funerary monuments and sanctuaries. The Kofun and the old tombs, the first and twist temples called Jinjiao, were made of wood over an elevated platform. Okay, here the interesting buildings start. Daisen Ryo Kofun, the tomb of Emperor Nintoku at Osaka, in this place were found terracotta figures called Haniwa. Hasisaka Kofun, the supposed tomb of King Himiko of Yamato. Daikoku near Nara, Gosikizuka Kofun, just another one. Um, okay. Some pictures about this. And probably three. So these are the, the Kofun. Like you see here is the sarcophagus. This is the these are the Kofun. This one, uh, these are the Haniwa. It is uh, Dai Senrio Kofun. Dai Sen. Dai Senrio Kofun. Yes. And the other is the Aniwa Fibers. And the other one has his Hasihaka Kofun and Gosikitsura Kofun. Um, let's see if I put this together. Actually, I'm thinking in just putting this one because it's very representative of what is inside the Kofun. And that's all. Tori, a welcoming art that points access to a sacred place. It is the the pass from the um, uh, normal world to the sacred world. These are Tori, different Tories. Um, let's see if I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to put the the story just as a general representation of Tori. Uh, I'm going to put myself in the other side now. It's a sanctuary. This is very important sanctuary related with Amaterasu. It has two complexes. The Naiku is dedicated to Amaterasu, goddess of the sun, and Geku is dedicated to, to Yoke no Omikami, the goddess of agriculture and home. To Yoke no Omikami. The main building is called Soden. In the painting, Amaterasu is represented coming out from the celestial cave. 
But I think by painting it means this one. This and this one with the Tori, but it is very big. Of course, I'm going to put the painting. That it seems it's not here. Because these are sculptures. Oh yes, it is this one. Not sure if I can find a better picture. Materasu decision quality. It is what it is. I can't find a better quality. But I want to put the big painting. Okay, Ikumo Taisa, if you remember, I mentioned this before. It is said that this temple was founded by Amaterasu. And Kimpu Senji, this is the main temple of the Suhendo, a religion that combines Sintoins, Buddhists, and animist beliefs. It is the second biggest wooden structure of Japan. <coughs> This is the Izumo Taisa and Kimpu Senji. Um, let's see how I put these pictures. The other is the King Pusenji. 
just going to add one picture. Kim, Hussein, Asuka, next period. The state of Yamato forged a central kingdom following the Chinese model. Buddhism came to Japan and influenced its art. Oryuji, very important time for this one. It's very important complex. Let's see if I can find out. Yes, this is like the complex, central door, the pagoda, the golden hall, the uh, hall of uh, praise. Uh, these are room for sutras, uh, for the bell. You see this? This is very nice. I, I'm, I'm going to show it. For... Okay. I'm going to search for bigger representation. Or you... Just to show you uh, how it is. It's something like this. Uh, oh, I had you. Okay, this picture is very nice. So you see the the gate, the hall of praise, the um, pagoda, the golden hall. It's like typical. Uh, Japanese distribution of temples. So the, for this one, I'm going to put a few pictures, since many important buildings in this place. Horyuji, it's a complex formed by various buildings. The most important are the To or Pagoda, Jumedomo or Hall of Dreams, and Kondo or Gordon Hall. Kudara style influenced by China, it has sculptures by Tori as the canon of Kudara, canon of both Jumedono and Sakyamuni Trial. There is also the Tamamushi shrine and mural paintings in the Kondo. So pictures of the penguin. Going back to the beginning. So you see this, the golden hall and the pagoda. It's another perspective. More buildings. The plan. Here, how it is built. And then, this the canon of Kudara, canon of Jumedono, uh, Sakyamuni Triad, and then some paintings like this. Okay. Um, I'm going to use this picture. The one for buildings, this one. Um, I suppose one for sculptures. It's the same. Uh, and then the triad. Let's see what is what. Uh, Kudara is this.
Cannon of Kulara. You remember Cannon is the Bodhisattva Valogitesvara, but Japanese version. Kulara. Um, the other is the Jumedono Canon. Jumedono. And the last one. It's a uh, Yamuni. And then some paintings. It's Tsukushima Sanctuary built over the water. It is formed by Guh Gohunoto, a five level pagoda, the Tahoto or two level pagoda, and various honden. The tour is impressive. Yes, this is this tour in the water, and here are the buildings. I think one more picture. One for the Tori and one for the building. This one, but probably I'm going to need to put it. Okay, this is fine. And then for this, I want to put this. It to Kusima Sanctuary. Nara. The capital city was established in Nara, Buddhist art of Chinese influence, many temples. Okay, here it is. Okay, this is still a bit short, but the long periods are stopping. Yakushi, uh, this is another very important one. It was born so the only original structure is the Eastern Tower, and it was a try from Japanese architect to away from Chinese style. So, so they hear horizontality far from Chinese influence. And I just notice about the points. I'm just checking. Okay, it's fine. I suppose one picture of it is Yabusi He. And the Tosoda I he, another very important one. Uh, 
let's see. And by the way, you are noticing that all these tempos are like something G, like like this audio G and uh, this also like G and such. So G means tempo. I should say because later we will be talking about the casters, and the casters are like Jo, like image Jo. So Jo means caster. So this is the jacuzzi. I will, yes, jacuzzi G. I'm pronouncing it like G because I suppose it is like that. So. Uh, and the other is the Tosol IG. It's in this picture. So that so that Iyomizu Dera, a temple in a hill, very impressive. There was a legend that said that if someone jumps and survive and uh, survives it's a sign of God luck. Uh, obviously this is forbidden in present times. The water of the waterfall is this say to give prosperity and there are also two love stones that give luck in love to who reads them both with closed eyes. Kiyomizu Dera is uh, this impressive temple. It's with dragon, it's at night. Um, I think I'm going to put two pictures of this. The one of the hill and then the one from close up. Yo misu dera. Ah, uh, close up this one. So the IG, it contains yeah, statues as Buddha, Vairokana, Virupaksa, and Vaisravana. So the IG is the, uh, has sculptures of the Kongorikisi. Uh, the sculptures are from later period. Uh, Kofukuji, founded by Kagami no Kimi, the first wife of Emperor Tenji, to see if that would make his husband to recover his health. Rinoji, it has the Sambutsudo, or Hall of the Three of the of the three Buddhas, where there are three golden statues representing Amida, Senju Kanon and Bato Kanon. I suppose three, one for each.
Told IG, it's this one, a super important building. This is the interior. And uh, these are the Kongori Kisi. Hmm. So, probably for this one, I'm going to put more pictures for the interior. Um, the main picture is this one. Then the interior. I want to put all these pictures because they are very representative of sculpture. Kodaiji, uh, Buddha Bairokana. And the others are the... Uh, these are other things. Pirupaxan by Shravana. Pirupaxan. And the other is by Shravana. By Shravana. And then for the other ones, Kofukuji and Rinoji. One picture of each one. Kofuki is this one, yes. Maybe I, can, I was thinking putting them in the same but better not. Of 
Opo. Ya me dice Rino. Kosimi in Ari Taisa dedicated to the spirit of Inari, it is known by the thousand of red tories that follow the path of the hill to the sanctuary. Meikira Taiso clay sculptures representing guardians of Buddhists and Tagamatsuka paintings influenced by the Tan style of China. I think I'm going to separate this. This is the Kosimi in Ari Taisa. Meikira Taiso are these ones and the Takamatsuka paintings. Okay, uh, I'm going to put this in a different. I want to put uh, this yes And here the big one. Oops. Then this. There's the sculptures. I want to put both because very good examples, but. Because I want close up of the face also. And then the paintings. I'm just going to put this one. Hmm. Tama Taka Matsuzuka Taka Matsuzuka Okay. 
Ok, hey, I now. The Fujiwara clan rule and made Heian the capital city, the current Kyoto. Feudal Lin's apparition of the samurais, Haragana scripture was born adapting Chinese calligraphy to Japanese language. Uh, two Buddhist sects came to Japan, Tendai and Singon, based in Tibetan Tantric Buddhists, mixed with Shintoins. The three most powerful families were Fujiwara, Taiwa, Taira, and Minamoto. Fujiwara no Kiyoira, the most powerful family in this period, the rulers, Minamoto no Yoritomo, this military man dominated the emperor and founded the Shogun, a military political organist, and Tai Tokai Mandala for single adoration to Buddha. Fujiwara no Kiyoira. I'm going to make you still hello Sufia. Good morning and very nice. You can show me later. Fujiwara no Kiyoira, uh, Minamoto no Yoritomo, and this is the mandala. Uh, let's see. Pictures of this and well, these are not emperors, but these rulers, Fujiwara, Minamoto, and Juan Mandala. Yes, we saw you later. Yes. <laughs> Today is Japanese day. Um, I think Mandala probably have to put it in another because too too much. Fujiwara no Kiyoira. By the way, just saying, so Fujiwara is like a name of a place. Uh, Fujiwara no Kiyoira, it's like Kiyoira from Fujiwara. And this one, Minamoto no uh, Yoritomo. So this is Yoritomo from Minamoto. Um, I think the mandala, I'm going to put it here. Taito Kai mandala. Building stuff. Enryaguji, a complex in Mount Hiei founded by Saicho that broke the Tendai sect into Japan. It had around 3,000 temples. Uh, Kongoguji, it is the main temple of Singon Buddhism in Mount Koya founded by Kutkai. The complex has many schools and a great garden, the Banryutei. Ban Muroji, a Shingon temple at Mount Muro, it has the sculpture of Saga Niorai. And Toji, another Shingon temple, it had a twin tower, Saji, but it's lost. Probably one picture of each. Let's see. Enryaguji. Is this one? I want this one because I can see the buildings better. Uh, 
Enriaku Enriaku Next block Congo would you uh, this Mudo G Doji? Let's see if I can put all in one or probably not. Congo. This one also alone and then the others together. Go G, uh, Muro G, and Toji. Muro G. And Toji. Where is this one? Ah, oh, here. You remember Do means pagoda, so it is like the temple of the pagoda. Okay, uh, next one. Ninaji, one of the main temples of Singon Buddhists. It began as a place to pray for the emperor, but later it became a residence for him. Due to this reason, the priests always tried to develop the most beautiful gardens, and later it was spread. Byodo Inn, another very important one, a monastery in Uji at the border of Apul. The most important structure is the Phoenix Hall with an image of the Buddha Amida, a bodhisattva playing Koto and paintings in the gates. These two are very important buildings. So, not sure how many pictures I'm going to put. Uh, Nina is this one. This is the garden. Pagoda, the interior. Okay, so let's see. And interior and the garden.
Then the Biodoin. Very beautiful one. See this in the lake. It's the entrance. Uh, Buddha. The Bodhisattva playing the Koto and paintings. Going. And the sculptures, the Buddha, the Bodhisattva, and the painting icon. Bodhisattva and um, painting. Yamatoe. This is the real pierced traditional painting of Japan in scrolls characterized by its harmony, colorful and shiny tones with simple lines and geometric decoration. The manuscripts are called emaki and they did pictorial scenes and uh, with katakana calligraphy narrating historic or literary passage. There was a distinction between female painting onae and male painting otokoe. The main theme are illustration of poetry, epic or love stories. This is called a makimono. In Onae, there are the Genji Monogatari and Eike no Kyo. In Otokoe, there are the Sigi San Enji and Heiji Monogatari. <clears throat> These scrolls are the, this very big. I want to show. Uh, <clears throat> a makimono. Scroll is like this very long scrolls, like this. So it's like you uh, open it and it's like the story is progressing. Like something like this, you see. This is very nice example. This is how you see it. So Genji Monogatari, Eike no Kyo, Sigi San Enji, Eiji Monogatari. So it seems one of these, those examples of painting.
the other two Siggy Sun mm, Okay, I know how I'm going to do it As these ones are the Too smaller Will it find? Okay. Any mono Atari? You remember I talked about this when talking about mythology, it's mostly a love uh, story. Now this is AK Nokio AK Nokio The other one is Sigi San Engi Sigi San Engi And the last one the AK AG Monogata. Kamakura and Muromachi. I'm going to do a very short break. I keep me five ten minutes.
Okay, I'm back. Uh, one moment. How long is the stream going? Almost three hours. Nice. And it's going like one third. Okay. I think it won't be as long as the Chinese art stream. <laughs> Kamakura. The Minamoto clan was the ruler and they set up the Shogunate. The Zen sect was introduced into Japan. The period ends when the Mongols lead, led. led by Kublai Khan are defeated in their try to conquer Japan. About Zen Buddhism, meditation is important. Influence from China, Zen is a union between humans and nature, and this is manifested in the gardens. Ragu Ceramics. Just a point about history. In the, um, the Kohiji and the Nihongi, like this mythological text, and, uh, and if I remember correctly, especially the Nihongi, that is more historical. Well, historical, like legendary, but you get what i mean um what i want to say in this text as appear um, like tries to conquer korea so it's um when i talk about korean art in next stream uh, i might tell more about it but it's like the peninsula of korea is like a land where both chinese and japanese wanted to kind of rule so there were um like uh, it was a kind of important place for these cultures because Japanese also um, are descended from the Korean Peninsula. It's like if you see the map, it is China, and then it's the Peninsula of Korea, and from then, from there, they go to the islands of Japan. That in the past, in the ancient past, like I'm talking about prehistoric, um, it was. Uh, the islands of Japan were like connected to Asia, but later the level of the sea rises, and then this is why they are islands now. And in fact, I remember reading that in the future, most likely the islands of Japan will disappear because the level of the sea. So it's going to be very sad. And I wonder what uh, in the future, if that point, um, if by that by that point the humans are still existing in this planet. I wonder how they are going to save the, all the Japanese buildings. It will be interesting. We are not going to leave that, of course. Uh, okay, Kamaguda. Uh, Ragu Ceramics. These are the Ragu Ceramics. I'm going to put a picture of that. We are now in the Middle Ages. Raku I saw a picture of a kind of emperor or oh it's the, it's the Minamoto okay. But this one they will show with this one is a sculpture that will appear later. Ragu ceramic is important for the tea ceremony. It's like every person had one of these, and with this they drank the tea. Sanju Sang. Sanju Sang and Do, this temple was perfect for samurais to practice archery. Inside there are a thousand statues of Kanon and a Buddha. The sculpture is Tanke. This building is impressive and very important. Most of the temples from this moment are Zen Buddhist monasteries that were born and rebuilt with time. Like the Keninji, Tofukuji, Kensoji and Engaguji. These are just examples of, of monasteries. So 
Clippers de San José Angendo. Money in my pictures, most likely. Uh, this is the San José Angendo, it's like very long temple. And then the inside there are these money sculptures. And this is the Buddha. It's very, very impressive. Okay, pictures. Here. I'm all the time thinking when I play the um, artistic adventure game, uh, I made all these buildings. Today I feel happy about playing that game. Later, later at the end. Um, I want to put. Not sure what to put because this one shows how many sculptures are, but these ones are like um, seen in front. So probably I'm just going to put this and the Buddha. Is this one? Yes. Member Canon is the Bodhisattva Balokitesvara. I'm going to edit this. So it is the Buddha and the Canon. Now the other different buildings. Kenin G, <clears throat> Tohoku G, Kencho G, and Gaku G. That's all or there are more. Okay. One picture of each. Only two. Tofuku.
n sur 10 on a graph um, there is another better picture This is the Ngaku. This is the picture I went to all of this. Yes. Ngaku. And the other. This. Very similar temples. And the last one is in Garku. Kotoku in, there is a giant statue of Buddha Amida. Chionji is another temple. Uh, Honganji composed by two temples, Nishi Honganji and Hisagi Honganji. And Kothanji, this temple is home of some objects and sculptures and Cho Choju Giga Scrolls about caricature with anthropomorphic animals. The, these Cho Choju Giga Scrolls are like the the ancient manga you will see now. Hyunji, Hongganji, and Kothanji is this one, and the manga thing, this. This is the Choku Giga. Okay, let's see how I put this Kotoku in. I put four and then let's see. Um, I suppose it's this one, yes. And Tionin. Great gate, um, call San Mon. Onganji. This I think I'm going to put both. 
this one and the other. The missing Hongan C. Hongan D. And the cost and G. And the last, the Chohu Miga. No, 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 that's this one. Um, this. So you see this kind of cross and rabbit. It's like um, funny scenes with animals. Sculpture is very realist. The main sculptures, not sculptures. Sculptures are Unkei and Koso. Uesugi Sigefusa, Unkei from the K school in Nara. He made a Congo, the Congo Rikisi of Todaiji, fighter protector spirits of Buddha, and the monk statues very realistic. In examples, there are the Muchaku monk, Sesin monk, Choen monk, and Kuya monk. The last one made by Koso. Not sure how I need. I'm going to need. Uh, this is the Wesugi, whatever. Wesugi, Sigefusa. And then the Unkei, the Congoriquesia of Unkei, and the monks. That was who it's here. Now the Congoriquesi.
I'm thinking dividing this. Let's see. I can put them here. Ue Suri sigue fusa. I'm going to okay. And now the monks. These are the monks. Four monks. to put them in order Chaku assessing it seems they are made by by un okay. this one also made by un okay. Um, no, the seat of one. And last one. Where is the last one? Muchaku monk. Sesi monk. Show and monk. And Kuya monk. Uh, Koso. It is Koso. Uh, hello, Syndical Cake. I was wondering when you are streaming again. <laughs> yes, uh, so busy these weeks with studying and reading and such so yes 
Uh, this stream is probably going to be very long, so enjoy. <laughs> this is about Japanese art. And here this board. You can see it because the background, so I just put it like this. Painting is developed in themes as landscape and portrait themes. It continued the Yamato style, Japanese traditional painting, mostly in scrolls. Scroll of Hungry Spirits, Scroll of Illness, Takanobu Fujiwara, Portrait of Minamoto no Yoritomo. This is the same portrait as I used before. And Nachi Waterfall, the water is a kami that falls to the temple. So these now are the scrolls that I saw before. These scrolls uh, of the Hungry Spirits, it's more like kind of the underworld creatures. Like you see these kind of monsters of here. Is this and this? Mm, this is going to be very big, but both ones are very nice to pull. Uh, roll of the illness also two like scroll of the illness When to put names. Scroll of the Hungry Spirits. Roll of illness. And uh, now portraits. Well, that portrait and the waterfall painting. This portrait that I used before, but I'm going to put it anyway. And the fall. can put them bigger. So this is uh, Takanobu Fujiwara, it's Minamoto no Yoritomo uh, and the author painter is Takano Fujiwara Fujiwara Takanobu
and then the waterfall is not Nazi waterfall. Nazi waterfall. Um, what's the scroll of illness about? Sounds like Egyptian boot of the dead. Um, actually, I'm not very sure. Uh, the scroll of illness and deformities uh, shows the physical uh, like when the illness causes your body to break and such. Release the illness, give invisibility to the torments and the, uh, how crude illness is. Treats like it shows the body being broken and such. I, get, I say I don't know because I wanted to, to say for sure. I imagine that it's something like that. The Book of the Dead from Egypt is more like praise, like prayers. Like um, prayers to the gods so they can reach the the afterlife and being peace and such. Okay, next period, Muromachi. Still not even reaching the uh, hall, but it's like Edo period is very long. There are a lot of interesting things in Edo. Muromachi. In this period, the shogunate was supported by the Ashikaga. There is a civil war. The main shogun is Yoshimitsu Ashikaga. The capital city is Kyoto. As, uh, I'm going to check this because I think Ashikaga is the surname, so it should be first. Yes, Ashikaga Yoshimitsu. And then some uh, tatami is like, well, this is a cigar. Tatami is like this, like this kind of wooden floor. And then sui hoji, sokokuji, I think this will be, tem so they, they are temples because they are ji. A monastery, and this another one. This is a Iraniwa garden. Later, when I talk about garden, you will see understand it. but Iraniwa garden is like garden for meditation with sand and rocks mm. yeah, let's see how I put this here's the Asikaga And a picture of the tatami. It's fine if I put it like this. Just as a as basic as some example of what is a tatami. Asikawa Yoshimitsu. I know the, the temples. We hoji. And soko kuji.
will be fine. Yes. But it's still like this. So pro to easy. Now, very important temple, the Kinkakuji, also called the Golden Pavilion, it was built as home to rest for Asikawa Yoshimitsu and was transformed in a, into a Zen temple by his son Rinzai. It has three floors covered with gold in the past. It also has a Feng Huang Chinese Phoenix in the top. Ginkaguji, also called the Silver Pavilion, built for Asikaga Yoshimasa that wanted to do something similar to his grandfather, but he couldn't add the silver at the end. Kinkaku is this one. It must be very beautiful visiting this uh, this temple. This is the Fen Juan Furnace and this is the Ginkaku. Okay, I'm going to add this one of the snow, I think. I got another boss. Just because the space. I think I want to add uh, at least one more of the Ginkaku. Uh, Ginkaku. I'm going to see if I find a nice one from the interior, especially. Not that impressive, honestly. <laughs> okay, this is a close up, so maybe this will be more interesting. Okay, I'm going to add this one. We're gonna add this one and the the phonies. Oh, this is also, but this is very small. Um, so this and this. Yeah, and if I add them, like kind of small.
gardens were developed div divided in two categories, Tsukiyama, landscape gardens, and Iraniwa, meditation gardens. Among the vegetation, bamboos and bonsais are found. The garden is a space for meditation. Uh, let me check that. Have you ever seen this video called The History of Japan? The video is about nine minutes long. The narrator was talking super fast of one. No, I haven't seen this video. Uh, can you share to me in Discord? By the way, I'm going to open the windows. I had it uh, closed because I started very uh, early in the morning and the window, uh, the sun is um, hitting me in my face, so it's very annoying. Share me in Discord and I can check it. This garden ten Ryuji. Let's see how I'm going to put this. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, Lemon, welcome. I'm going fine, and you? For this, um, I'm going to put the main building and the gardens also, as I was talking about gardens. Okay, I'll check it a bit later. It's if it is uh like whole history of Japan in like nine minutes, that is but you mean history like only history? By only history I mean like the the wars and the emperors and this kind of stuff. And great, what we have today? Japanese art. That's cool. Yes, Japanese art. They all Japanese art. It's the whole history from prehistory until now. Okay, but you mean also including art? Then Ryu. I say because I watched some history of Japan videos uh, these past days, and if it is only about wars and such, it talks about art in three seconds. Whoa. <laughs> Amazing. So maybe he's just mostly talking about wars, emperor, the soguns and such. I can imagine. This is very beautiful picture. But not going to add that one. Uh, so this one and the other garden also. Yeah, he also mentioned how there are different periods of Japanese art. Yes, of course. But yes, the periods are also the same as the historic periods. I love to hear about it. Well, uh, I say you that most mostly history of humanity is about rulers and wars. Like when, if you check only history, maybe at least I get disappointed, honestly. Because when I studied history in the past, I studied as with the perspective of art history. So it's like more beautiful. But if you study history only, you can summarize it in rulers and wars. That's all. Well, not all, but almost. So it's kind of boring, at least for me. Okay, now painting. Influenced by Zen aesthetic, the later Chinese uh, and later Chinese painting. It is important to differentiate the two styles of this moment. Yamato-e, traditional Japanese 
painting, polychrome, and sumie is the Chinese influence painting. Monochrome. You will see this difference very easy. There are the, uh, there were two main schools that continued in the, uh, to the future periods. The Tosa school, founded by Tosa Yukihiro, it continued the Yamato style. Other painter, painter is Tosa Mitsubobu and Kano school, founded by Kano Masanobu, it applies quadri ink to traditional topics. It's a mix of Yamato e and Sumie, and it was used sometime, uh, it was used sometimes. Uh, in gold panels. Other painter is Kano Motonobu. These names um, are very confusing because it's like Mitsubobu, Motonobu, it's like Masanobu. You said they are like very similar and I always get confused with them. Uh, this is Tosa Yukihiro, I suppose. Tosa Mitsunobu, more Tosa Mitsunobu. Okay, who is going for this? Not this one. Um, it is. Let me find this one. Tosa Yukihiro. And then the other is Tosa Mitsubobu. Mitsu. I think that is a typo. Tosa Mitsunobu. Okay, I'm going to search it to be sure. So if I put uh, this, okay, yes, this is a typo. Uh, I can see how it gets. According to the history of Japan video, there is a colorful period of Japanese art in the 9th century because nobody gave a shit about running the country. Colorful period of Japanese art in the 9th century. I suppose this is the Heian period. I watched that video multiple times and each time I discovered something I missed when watching it earlier. I think by 9th century you mean the, the Heian. Because yes, it's like a period of kind of peace. Mitsu Nobu. Um, so it's this one. The best video to learn about Japanese history. I I want to watch it. You are uh, making me wanting to watch it. So this is uh, Tosa Yukihiro. This was Yomi Sudera. Tosa uh, Matsunobu Mitsunobu. Mitsunobu Iyomitsu uh, Era And then the one of the bamboos What's in an aura? You will not regret and come out a different person. Very entertaining, made me enjoy history content for once. I like the picture you choose for. Thank you. <laughs> yes, that is the idea of this, that um, kind of class summary 
like this. Bamboo in the four seasons. And then the Kano School. Kano Masanobu and Kano Motonobu. The Tosa and the Kano schools will appear also later. In like from this point to the next periods, they will appear like with with more people, more Kano and more Tosa people. Uh, Kano Masanobu and Kano Motonobu. I think I can put all these ones in the in the same. It's separated. So the first ones are for Kano Masanobu. Masanobu. And the others are Kano Motonobu. Continue. Sumi e painters. Taigo Hosetsu, Mantegin a catfish, uh, and Tenso Subun, pupil of Hosetsu, he reached the position of court painter and then he popularized the Sumi e. He studied the master of Song Dynasty of China, Asia Gui, and Wu Xi. Weisman reading at the Hermitage in a bamboo forest, landscape of the Four Seasons, three images. Put together like this. I think this is the last one. Oh, no, and says you told you the last one. Sumie, um, it's like this. Kosetsu, so you see, it's like Chinese painting. Here's the Josetsu one. Um, Tenso Shubun. What language was that? Uh, that name can get confused very easily. Oh, I'm not very sure what you mean. Uh, 
if you mean when I create a new, um, uh, like I do this and you see this text, this is Spanish. And yes, um, as I was saying before, these names of the painters are very similar. The canon names is easy to confuse. Yes, I totally agree. So this is Taiko Hosetsu. Now this um, Tenso Shugun. these four seasons i'm going to add all of them because they are very beautiful um Last one. Landscape of the four seasons. And next one, Se Sutoyo. He went to China and when he came back, he was full of new ideas. He improved his composition and applied various techniques, as Haboku and Hatsuboku, techniques that use plazas of ink with off lines, self portraits, Amano Hasidate, and landscape various. So this is Sesu. These are his paintings. I use it like this, the splashes of painting. Ama no hasidate. Now the landscapes. I'm 
we're going to put them on. next period Atuchi Momoyama The art of this period goes far from Buddhist influence and tries to be traditional. There is a succession of military leaders as Oda Nobunaga, Toyotomi Hideyoshi and Tokugawa Ieyasu that try to bring peace to Japan after a long period of war. The period ended when Ieyasu established the Tokugawa Shogunate, starting the Edo period. This is the times of the castles. Fall Zero, they were fortified due to the introduction of weapons. Imeji Jo, so as I was saying before, Jo, when it has Jo, it's like a castle. Imeji Jo, it combines grey and white, and there are paintings in the walls inside. By Kano Itoku, it used tatami. And Osaka Jo, it is very popular in the festivity of Anami. Anami is the festivity of contemplating the, the cherry trees or the sakuras. And yes, in the first flourishment of the Japanese sakura, as I was saying. Um, probably I have to put portraits of the rulers. Oda Nobunaga, Toyotomi de Yoshi, and that's all. Because the Yasu, I will put it in the dog. Mm. Oda Nobunaga and Hideyoshi. You see, when I'm talking about history, it's just uh, rulers and wars. Well, in the Edo period, I will talk more about society. In their society, is very important. Um, the other one is Toyotomi y de Yoshi. Toyotomi y de Yoshi. And all the castles. Uh, the Imeji Jo. Very impressive castle. And a picture of the interior also. It's this one, but I think I'm going to put better the other one. This. Just because the size. And remember, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the construction of Imeji Jo is so perfect for defense that it was never assaulted. Not sure if I'm confusing it with other castles, but I think it was this one. This is the Osaka Yu. Mm. 
Hmm, I'm going to add this to pictures, but I have to edit. This caster is one of my favorites. More castles. Azuchi Jo, it was the residence of Oda Nobunaga and it was destroyed by the army of Akechi Mitsuhide. The construction is a replica. Matsumoto Jo, also called Castle of the Crown, due to its black walls. And Niho Jo, formed by various buildings, among them the Ninomaru Palace and the Honmaru Palace, and also some gardens. As you see, this. Uh, period is mostly about castles. Uchi Matsumoto. And this is the This one Matsumoto, right? Yes. Matsumoto. Point four. And then the next is the Nihojo or Nijojo. Hmm. Just going to add this picture. This building is the uh, Ninomaru Palace, yes. Fusimi Momoyama, also called Fusimi Jo or Momoyama Jo, it is well known by its tea room. It was destroyed in the Siege of Fusimi by Isida Mitsunari, so the current one is a uh, replica. Odawara Jo, very well located strategically, and Edo Jo, when Ieyasu became a shogun, Edo would be the capital city, and so this castle would be important. It was an enormous military complex. 
uh, the Edo Jo appears also in literature, but uh, right now it, it doesn't exist. Cusinio Moyama is this one. Mm, okay, I'm going to put this. Cusinio Moyama, Odawara. This is the Edo. Uh, let's see why it is destroyed. In the Meiji Restoration, when Tokugawa Yoshinobu was um, like uh, the, removed from power, the castle became the imperial residence. So this is the castle. Mm. Was our as a great fortress. The tower was destroyed by um, by a fire. And this is a panel showing a scene of the city. Uh, okay, going back to the Odawara. It's not only because I'm not finding the other water here. I need to put it a bit. This is the Fusini Momoyama. And the Odawara. And the last one, the Edo. course that amazing painting also this painting here you see a lot of people in the streets This is what the name of the painter.
I think it's just the screen off Kiyo, Kiyoshai Kiyomitsu. Okay, yes. How to go like this? Dangerous assisting to the Edo Castle. Your side. Yomitsu Dangerous It is saving This ceremony, also called Chado, the master said no Rikyu is important to mention. There are various kinds of teacups. A great ceramic was cho Chojiro. Uh, Chawan, simple cups. Chaire, small cup with an ivory top. Mithusasi, ceramic for fresh water. Nezumi, the dishes. Kogan, jars for water. Also, it is worth to mention the Kintsugi or Kintsukuroi, a method of repairing ceramics using resin and dust of gold, silver of platinum. Silver or platinum. I'm going to divide this. To put this uh, send no review. Uh, various piece of types of. Pickups. Chawan, Chaire, Mizusasi, Nezumi, Kogan, and this is the duck technique. Like it is broken, but they fill the broken parts with gold or metal and such. And now this is painting. Um, I'm going to put the ceramic things now. Mithusasi uh, ne Nezumi and Kogan
itu pasti Um. And the last one is um coma. And the last thing is this the broken the broken technique. In Subi, uh, Serami. And now painting. Again with the confusing names of the schools. The Tos and Kano schools continued their production as well as Sumie. Honami Koetsu, he was painter, poet, and gardener, scroll of the deer. This is scroll. Very beautiful. I'm just going to add one. No, not this. Um, this. Nami Koetsu, yes. Yes. Tosa School, it continued the Yamato. It continued the Yamato style with historic scenes and landscape. Tosa Mitsuyoshi, scenes of Kenji Monogatari. Tosa Mitsuogi, scenes of Kenji Monogatari. <laughs> Mitsuyoshi and Mitsuogi, again, very similar names. Tosa Mitsuyoshi and Mitsuogi. Did you know Genji Monogatari is the world oldest novel? Yes. It's very long and it's... Uh, Sumari is basically emperor stuff and love stories. Like Genji is all the time trying to flirt with women. Uh, this is from... Tosa Mitsuyoshi. Mitsuyoshi. I read that this novel is like compared with Don Quixote and there was also another one but I don't remember where. Well. 
like because older and very kind of modern. Mitsuyoshi. And from this, only one also. Mitsuyoshi, this one. Genji Monogatari is very nice if you enjoy history and um, of course love, love stories um, because it is like the, the scenario is the code so it shows how they live and I was checking uh, Mitsuoki And now can school. It received most of the official orders, developing mural painting um, in the main Japanese castle, mostly heroic scenes with animals, real and mythological, and also gardens and landscapes of the four seasons. Kano Itoku, uh, Grethy Press, Garden Lions, Flowers and Birds in the Four Seasons, People, uh, Flowers and Birds. Not so if it is. I'm going to check this. Kano Itoku, right? Okay, this is another. I missed that comma here. Flowers and birds in the four seasons. Oh, I need such a boss. Hermits and a fiery birds and flowers in the four seasons. Trees indoors. There are, these are the titles of the paintings. The cypress, guardians. Okay, it is the same. Well, Canus and Raku, Plum Tree in Screen, Peon in Screen, Tigers and Dragons. Kano Itoku is one of the most famous painters in this period, but also in Japanese art history. I think he has many beautiful paintings. Red Cypress, the Guardian Lions, this one with the peacocks. The Phoenix, Four Seasons, Freezing Indoors, and this is just another one. Uh, the way Genji is writing, you can tell the author didn't plan the story at all, but very good continuity despite so many characters. <laughs> yes, it's also like uh, the author don't name the, the character by, by their names, they name the character by their title or something like that so it's like a bit of hard to read i um tried reading it i didn't read it full because it is very long and i don't have much time now but i don't think it's very hard to read also there are i read some parts that are actually very entertaining i recommend the book but only if, if you have a lot of time because it's very long From Kano Itoku, I'm going to add many paintings because very beautiful. Um, this one I'm going to skip.
Quartz Seasons. And this one also because um, it is a door and I want to put something in a door. This is Greta Grass. Pano Eito. Uh, people. Going to put the whole title. Um, um, I do the trick, I do always. Needs. This one, Trees indoors. And I th there was another one, Sandrak. Kano Sanraku. <clears throat> Kano school in this time is very beautiful. with this golden background. It is called um, room tree in a spring. Of course, this is peony in a spring. Yes. 
Tiger Sandra. Now, Sumie. Hasegawa Tohaku, founder of the Hasegawa School, he developed his own style with Chinese ink and was the rival of Eitoku, Forest of Pines. And Yaiho Yuso, he practices both the Yamatoe and Sumie screen with floral decoration. This is uh, from Tohaku. It's almost finished at this period. Forest of Pines Hasegawa Kaiho Yusu These landscapes are very nice, I love these landscapes um, So I think I'm going to put both but let's see how it's like it's very curious for me how this landscapes because it's there are there is a lot of empty space so I like them very much. Screen with floral decoration. And the last part, this period, Nanban. This is the art influenced by the contact with Western people, especially Portugal and Spain. Nanban means barbarians of the south. Kano school, this school made many of these paintings. Kano Naithen and Kano Naganobu are two of the painters. 
among the products that Western people liked were the arts made with larker to save relics and sacred objects. Persecution of Christianians at the end of the 16th century, as well as the politic of the Tokugawa, um, it means the downfall of Namban art. So how much I'm going to add to this. The arrival of the Portuguese, barbarians of the south. The arts, and that's all. Saving. I think these ones are also by the same painter, Tano Nathan. I think this is just part of the same painting, but it's like just fragments. No, Nathan. Yes. The other one is Kano Naganobu. And then just an example of arc, and that's all. Uh, like this one. Finally, the Edo period, the longest one. Mm. 
This period is the Tokugawa period where Japan isolated itself. The capital city was established in Edo, the future Tokyo. Christians were pursued and European, strider, European traders were expelled, but even so, economy and artisanry flourished. It was Tokugawa Ieyasu who would rule over all. So, uh, Tokugawa. So, this made traditions to come back. So, this is the Ieyasu. Just going to check if there is a typo or not. Architecture. Yashitsu. These are the tea houses. Imperial Palace of Katsura. A retirement palace for the Imperial family at Kyoto. The gardens are masterpieces of Japanese art. Traditional Japanese without Chinese influence. There are various tea houses. So this is the Chasitsu. Imperial Palace of Katsura. Actually, I'm reading about the Shashitsu and I think I want a tea, so I should go to prepare a tea and so I can have a short break. I'm going to put uh, this Katsura Imperial Palace. This is soaking tape. Put also this Geparro.
treat this like a kind of complex case money buildings uh, maybe another one of the theory or like this In um soaking day uh gate bottle. I finish with architecture and it's very short and I take a short break before continuing with the painting. This appears yes. Uh, Tokonoma and Ikebana, this is an example of typical decoration inside houses. It is the concept of wabi-sabi, the beauty of imperfection. Tokonoma is the space to put a painting or calligraphy and Ikebana is the flower art. So this is this. So, so good, this is the mausoleum for Tokugawa Ieyasu made by his grandchild Iemitsu for the rest of his grandfather's spirits. Chinese influence, great decoration, there are couple sculptures of neo guardians and a relief of the tri of the three wise monkeys. Ikone Jo and Nagoya Jo, these are castles. This is the Tosogu Yomeimon. These are the uh, the Kongorikisi and the monkeys. Okay, not sure how many pictures I'm going to put of this. Of course, the panoramic. And this one also, I can put this here. Um, have a good break, yes, thank you. <laughs> if I don't take break, it's like too much time being sit. So I just finished with architecture and I have a 5 to 10 minutes break. Actually, how long I... Almost 5 hours. Well, I expected this stream to last for like 9 hours because Chinese art lasted 9 hours, but I think uh, probably 7 to 8 hours. It will be enough to finish this. Um, Kongori Kisi. I want to put both of these and the monkeys. Okay, the Karamon.
I'm going to start coding names. Soliamo Tosso V. Caramon El niño al Congo Riquisi on the monkeys this one yes it's very color colorful for example of a sculpture And this is the last building I think, and then some gardens. Okay, I do the season door and then I take the break. Season door, it was the residence of a retired samurai, Ishikawa Jothan, that has a great knowledge of art and literature, both Chinese and Japanese. After his death, it was occupied by a Zen monk that transformed it into a Zen temple. The garden is fantastic. Oh, I forgot this. The castles. Ikone Jo and Nagoya Jo. Yeah. Now the system though. I'm going to put two pictures. I have one put them the same.
pay the saving. Here's how to save. It's good, but interrupts. Okay, I take a break now. I'll be back in five to ten minutes.
Oke, okay, tampak. Let's continue. This mostly now guard the gardens and uh, the painting. Welcome back, thank you. I hope everything is working fine, like the audio is fine and such. Um, Japanese garden. Through all the chapters, I've talked about many Japanese gardens. Mm. This time, I want to talk about it more in depth, and I'm going to relate this. The gardens mentioned at the end will be a different period. To simplify, I'm going to write this text a bit differently. Have appeared already over all the periods, but now uh, this will be a party with the chapters. Don't bother about them. Gardens can be classified by its function. Tsukiyama, landscape gardens for contemplation of nature and Iraniwa, Meditation Gardens, generally smaller for Zen Masters. The conception, one moment, this is too big. The conception of gardens is to simulate nature on a smaller scale. It is like miniatures of real nature. They are symmetric. Generally, there are many flowers and it represents rivers and mountains in a small scale. rivers and mountains in a small scale. There are also rocks and sand gardens. The main elements of Japanese gardens are trees, water and stones. Vegetation is always there. Water symbolizes rivers and seas. Rocks symbolize mountains and or islands. Mm. Japanese gardens usually are decorated with architectures as bridges, and generally they are part of a bigger complex formed by temples or palaces. In fact, these gardens are designed to be seen from the interior buildings. There are three kinds of gardens, having in mind their composition. Lake guard, uh, three kinds. Okay. Lake garden with a lake or pool in the center, dry garden with sand and rocks, tea garden is it an extension of the tea ceremony. Uh, plant decoration continues in the homes, inside you can find the tokonoma, a place to add a painting or calligraphy with ikebana, a flower decoration, also kokedama is a plant formed by a ball of moss and bonsai are miniature plants. Inside the homes, you can find small gardens, one in each side of the building for better air ventilation. They can be found even in rooftops and balconies. The symbology of dry gardens, by dry garden is like the sand gardens, is complex and interesting. The position of the stones is very important. Lines in sand represent a river. Lines in circle around a stone represent an island. When the stones are up, they are mountains. If there are many lines among them, it represents the peaks of the mountains or the clouds. Many rocks together represent a waterfalls. As examples of garden, there are Yodoin from Heian period, Lake Garden for meditation, Kinkakuji from Muromachi period, Lake Garden for pleasure, Imperial Palace of Katsura from Edo period, Lake and Tea Garden for pleasure, can rock when from Meiji period, lake and tea garden for pleasure with many flowers and various structures as a bridge, a tea house, a fountain, and a lantern called Kotojitoro. Rio Anji, the temple of the Pacific Dragon from Muromachi period, dry garden from me for meditation. Okay, let's see how I'm going to do this. So the Ikebana, Kokedama, and Bonsai. Uh, 
I think I'm just going to put this pick here. Because Ikebana I have already put before. Uh, the Kokedama is not that important. So just this as example of miniature plant. It's our garden in the homes. Ah, okay, I know what I'm going to put here. Um, so the bonsai, an example of garden in the home. This is an example of dry garden. I think I'm going to put only a picture of these last two ones, just so I don't repeat pictures of past periods. In Roquen. Literature and theater. Literature, haiku, poetry, and ukiyo sosi narrative. Theater, no lyrical drama, and kabuki, stylistic drama. Yakusai painting are paintings of actors and actresses. Actresses with Ukiyo style. Tosusai, Saraku, and Utagawa Toyokuni will be the main masters. Shabush on grave. I'm going to search this.
some of the actors con Isada and going to put it the last Sursai, Saraku, Sursai. Utawawa, Dojo Kuni. Yes. And the last one. Utawawa. Now the fun starts with this kind of painting. Painting was very developed in various formats from panels, screens, scrolls. Xylography was very important. This is Japanese prints. Um, we can differentiate among various kinds of painting through the time. Yamato e, traditional Japanese painting, polychrome. Sumi e, Chinese influence painting, monochrome. Ukiyo e, Japanese prints, polychrome. Yakuza E related with theater in Ukiyo E style. Yamato E continued decorative style linked uh, to the tea ceremony with Onami Koetsu and Tawaraya Sotatsu. Oh, this appeared before. Koetsu Photography with frames. And the other one is Tawaraya Sosatsu. Oh, this one, Pujin and Reijin.
Vádia, Um, also, this. Screen with scatter. Rimpa School of Yamato e Style, characterized by representations in golden backgrounds with topics of nature, landscape, flowers, and the four seasons, mainly spring and autumn, with Ogata Korin and Sakai Oitsu. I'm going to put at least two of these ones. Districts. It's a saving. Here and train. Ways of Matsushima. Matsushima. Then the other painter. Two. 
this, this, and uh, this one. It's called uh, Sakai Oitsu. And the other one, Flowers of Autumn and Moon. This one, apples, and green trees. Next school, Nanga school, also known as Bunjinga, the artists were considered intellectuals. It is the legacy of Sumie, Chinese influence. Ike no Taiga, Tani Puncho, and Watanabe Tasan. Okay, only one for each. Ike no Taiga Tani Puncho And the other one Watanabe Kazan Maruyama School. It is important to mention Maruyama Okyo. Just this one.
Finally, Ukiyo-e. Now this is a funny thing. Ukiyo-e represents popular scenes. These are the paintings of the floating wall, Japanese prints, holography. At the beginning, only Chinese ink was used, and then the prints were painted, but Harunobu developed the Nishikie technique that allowed polytron prints. These prints were cheap and everyone could get them, so they were very popular. There are scenes of women, fighters, and even sex scenes called Suga. Ukiyo Monogatari influenced them. Just a warning, there will be uh, many sex prints. Ishikawa Moronobu of the early style. This one just because I want to put one that is like monochrome. I put this here. Ishikawa Oronobu Suzuki Arunobu. He represented many women and invented the Nishikie technique. This part I think I'm going to be very silent because it's mostly art paintings.
Itagawa Utamaro, he represented many geishas. Yes, money. <laughs> the one of the mirror. I'm searching the one with mirror. This one. Um, this one with full body. And here the big one. Uh, not this one. This one, yes. Itagawa Utama. Tori Kijonawa, he represented more women.
Katsushika Okusai, mostly known by the great wave of Kanagawa and his many depictions of Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji of the Mount Fuji Money once dollar one to put on this Very beautiful. This one has many beautiful ones. I want this one also. I'm just finishing with this set one and on this. Okay, now put the pictures. Sorry.
Tagawa Kuriyoshi. He was a specialist in Yakuza eh? portraits of actors and actresses. Kuriyoshi. Um, I think I just confused. Okay, yes, this is confused. Um, this is Kuniyoshi. The angry actors but um this 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 is also from Kunisawa I think no this is from Saraku. Tokusai Saraku. This has a period in the Masters. Yes, this one. <laughs> Mm. I feel I prefer adding this angry one instead of this. Agua Kunisawa. Not sure how many I'm going to add on to this. This is Kunisawa. Okay, the name is. I think Kunisawa is the 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 surname, and uh, not not the surname like a nickname.
enhance the landscape. This. Utagawa Funiyoshi, he was a specialist in representation of warriors. I think this is Susanowo, defeating the Sherpent or something like that. Well, no, it's some other thing. The Vasado Kuros, the giant skeleton. Utagawa Hiroside, he was a specialist in representations of landscape, and this is the last one. I want to put this bridge. He has many beautiful ones.
this one now this one okay i can put three Okay, at least one snowy landscape. So many beautiful landscapes. And the last one, this one with the characters. Okay, painting is finished. <coughs> Ceramics from Nonomura Ninsei and Ogata Kenzan. Just examples of ceramics.
um, porcelain Imari porcelain from Imari, Arita. The origins are the 16th, uh, 17th century when the Korean artisan Ji San Pyeong used Korean techniques to produce this with materials found in that place. So this kind of porcelain. Objects, Imro small bags to carry small objects, Netsuge small sculptures that are part of the Imro, Suba guards for katanas, Enku he was among the car like uh, 120,000 small statues of Buddha that gave to poor or sad people. Um, Han, well, I'm not sure how to translate this word. Han word. Not sure when, where this sculpture is going to be. Oh, it is here. Uh, this is Inro and Netsuke. Suba. And Enku. and the keywords. Okay, and Edo period is finished. Just missing the contemporary period and it's finished. Six hours, nice. So probably in one hour it will be finished. There are various periods that happened after the end of the early period. Meiji, the most important thing that happened here was the Meiji Restoration that changed the political and social structure of Japan. Then the Taisho, the Showa, and Eisei. Architecture, there is a door 
tubular direction traditional it follows the traditional japanese forms in examples the heian jingu and meiji temples in tokyo and also the jakusuni sanctuary modern influenced by the western art but going further in the high tech and neo futurist buildings in examples santa maria of tokyo and jojogi gym by kenzo tange edo tokyo museum by kiyonori Kik Kikutake and Capsule Tower of Nakagin by Kiso Kurokawa. This is the Heian Jingu. Ah, uh, This is the Meiji something, Meiji temples. Yakushuni Sanctuary and now the modern ones. Saint Mary of Tokyo. Very strange. George Ah, uh, this is the the gym, I think. Yojogi gym. It is too big picture. Edo Tokyo Museum. Not going to add all of them. Just a few. Kento Tange
Kiyonori Kikutake. Kiyonori Kikutake. And I'm coming up to the tower. One of my favorites. And uh, what's more? And that's all. Okay, then I'm going to put the gym also. I'm thinking another idea. Cabin, capsule, tower. Maybe I can put something from the inside because it's very interesting. And yes, I read that they are. Um, Dismantling this tower because it's like too old. Uh, we so Kurokawa. Now some painting. Wait, this is almost finished. Painting it also followed two directions. Traditional called Nihonga, Western influence called Yoga, and then our uh, artists are Tomioka Tesai, Kuroda Seiki, Kawamura Kiyo, and Takashi Murakami from Super Flat Movement, inspired in manga and anime. artwork yes also from Murakami I might put more paintings uh, the side Seiki Putting these pictures correctly.
Tomioka Desai Kuroda Seiki This is Maiko Awamura Kijo Anta Gasi Murakami. Manga, the Japanese comic, anime, animation films, as example, include Dragon Ball by Akira Toriyama and Spirit of the Way, Chihiro by Ayao Miyazaki. Obviously, on this there is too much, so it's just like a mention. This is thinking how to put this. Maybe like this, and that's all. Yao Miyazaki. And the last video games, Japan is the leader in video games industry with leading companies as Nintendo and Sony.
Can it finish it? Now the artworks summary. So I'm scrolling six or a half. Now the artwork summary and then I will play the an artistic adventure for the Japanese maps and I'll finish the stream. Liking this one too. Full ID uh, or
quarantine plus three four
Um, I, I think I'm going to use um, these ceramics on that side. This is wrong. Or this is correct. Yes, I knew this is wrong. Taiho Yuso. I
Okay. Finish it. Going to prepare for the last part. Going to get the box later.
Because I think uh, uh, Okay, now it fixes. Uh...
culture, there is one cake who made the convoy piece of the idea and some cake who made the canon of some juice and the go, not a structure of ten months. came to Japan and the mix of these artists can not ban art.
Just there, you make me
are the Ukiyo-e artworks with the subgenre of Yakuza-e. Ukiyo-e is the Japanese print of the floating world, and Yakuza-e are about the other. So all these NPCs are the members of the game collection. Talking with them, you have obtained an instruction uh, of the game. I finished with the stream now. Um, I hope you learned with this and you had some fun. Next, next, next culture is going to be Korea. It will be next week. So see you next time. Uh, have a good day.